What is happening, everybody? I know it has been a while. It has been a hot minute since the last video, and I do apologize for that, for the lack of uploads in the last six months. Hopefully we could be back on track now, and hopefully I can get videos out to you guys more consistently. There are a variety of different reasons why I stopped uploading, but long story short, I took a break. But now I am back, and in today's video, we will be doing Orlando and Daytona Beach, round two basically. It's gonna be completely different content from my last Florida video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. Link will be in the description. In the last Florida video, I visited Miami, Daytona Beach, and Orlando. But this time, we're gonna kinda touch on the stuff I didn't necessarily show you guys in the last Florida video, and it'll be a little bit different, so I hope you guys all enjoy. In this next clip, you are about to see me arrive at the airport in Orlando and about to go and pick up my rental car, so I will play you guys that clip first. Okay, so I just um, arrived in Orlando here at Orlando Airport. Came in from Boston. My first time going to this concourse. Usually I'll take Southwest. Yeah, I gotta go to baggage claim to get my bag because you know, what was pretty funny was when I got on the plane in Boston, they said that they had no overhead bin space uh, when I and they took my bag away before I got on the plane. And I'm like, okay. I get on the plane and there are a lot of, there's a ton of empty overhead bin space. So, I don't know what kind of miscommunication they had there. So, whatever. One last thing I gotta carry through the terminal here. I'm going the right way, baggage claim. C51, I think I remember it being. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get my bag and then I'm gonna go grab the rental car and we'll pick up then. Okay, I got my luggage. That was quick and easy. It was like right there when I arrived. I was like, I did stall a little in the terminal. But that was a pretty good bag service. 
Alright, now I'm gonna go to the rental car center. Alright, that one with hurt. I don't think this is the one I want. This is for the Hertz Gold. I think we want to go to the regular. Unless maybe that is the one we want. Alright, yeah, I guess this is what I want. Almost no lines, that's nice. Alright, I'll pause here. Okay, I just um, did my time at the counter. It was pretty straightforward. After a little bit of questioning and ID card, uh, I'm just on my way now. Okay, well, found the vehicle that I'm going to be renting. This is pretty much what I get. Yeah, let's see how this thing performs, but yeah. So that was only bits and pieces of the arrival process. I will eventually do a full Orlando airport arrival video, so stay tuned for that. Probably might be next video, just keep an eye out for that. But in this next clip, I'm going to show you guys my hotel room. So uh, I just arrived at the hotel room here so this is pretty much what I get not too much to this place and yeah I mean works this is where I'm gonna be the next three nights Yeah, that's pretty much just wanted to show you guys it. Now, unfortunately, I do apologize that the video quality is a bit unstable. I gotta say, the GoPro absolutely is horseshit at recording videos in the dark. Like, honestly, I would like to do a follow-up review on the GoPro. I mean, I did have a lot of good things to say about it a year ago, but honestly, my opinion on it has changed. The GoPro is not that good. It's just, it's just too buggy and has too many problems, and I'm probably going to make a follow-up review eventually, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, this next clip, I'm going to be exploring Disney Springs. Disney Springs is a nice place to hang out and go to if you don't really feel like going to theme parks. That's what I just decided to do with the remainder of my day, that one night that I arrived. Right now we're at Disney Springs. It's a pretty nice evening, pretty chill. It's not too muggy out here. Gotta take a walk. Wow. Fried salmon with the fresh fries, pretty good. 
So that's pretty much all I have to show for Orlando. Now you guys probably were wondering what theme parks I ended up visiting while I was there. I visited two theme parks, which was Volcano Bay and Universal Studios, which are both by Universal. Um, Universal Studios, I also went to Islands of Adventure, which I spent most of my time in Islands of Adventure. I got the park hopper ticket for one day, and then the second day I went to Volcano Bay. If you want to hear me discuss my experiences at those theme parks just let me know down in the comments below and I'll probably make a video discussing theme parks otherwise it's like I didn't really get any video footage at the theme parks just because it's like Universal was strict about not having cameras on roller coasters so I just didn't bother to take any video anyways next we're gonna head over to the beaches I did take a quick stop in Cocoa Beach so I will show you guys videos of that and then we make our way to Daytona Beach. Alright, so I finished up business in Orlando and I'm gonna head up to Daytona soon, but I decided to stop right here in Cocoa Beach and check this place out. So here's the pier. Uh, does this um, go further or does it just stop here? It's just the beginning. So I just go around this? If you go straight through this bar, through the first set of doors and make a left, you go out on the pier, it's about an eight, nine hundred foot long pier, and there's a peak head bar down at the pier. Okay, thank you. Maybe I might grab a bite while I'm done here. grab a bite. Alright, well, I'll cut it here. So, I'm on the Cocoa Beach Pier. I think that we can see the Caddy Space Center from here. I, I, I went there last visit. I want to check out the video for that. But, uh, got some the Gator Burger. Apparently this is what they call fries here in this place. So I just arrived at my hotel in Daytona Beach. 
So right here is the balcony. Not too sure which way to. There another, oh, here it is. There we go. This is um, what I get here. From my balcony. And excuse the mess I have here, I'm still getting settled in. But um, yeah, this is what the room looks like. Closet. Then here's the bathroom. Shower. Yeah, it gets the job done. That's all that really matters to me. Just a single solo traveler, so. You got two beds to fuck around with. <laughs> Which I only need one, but you never know. So you might remember last fall when I recorded my video on San Diego, I at the very end I recorded the sunset over the Pacific Ocean in time lapse. This time I took advantage of the fact I had to get up extra early to check in for my Southwest flight. Any of you guys who have flown Southwest before understand exactly what I'm talking about. So I thought maybe take a time lapse video of the sunrise because Daytona Beach faces eastward. Now unfortunately the clouds do block the sun but hopefully you can at least kind of see it. If not then hopefully you guys can enjoy watching the waves crash onto the shore in time lapse. Sorry you guys didn't get to see much of Daytona Beach in this video. I purposely didn't record much in Daytona Beach for a reason because I recorded a lot more of it in the last Florida video. So if you want to see the original Florida video that has Daytona Beach in it, more of Daytona Beach, I highly recommend you check it out down below as well as a lot of other places in Florida. That video also features Miami, it has SeaWorld Orlando. You got to see a rocket launch from the Kennedy Space Center. So I do recommend checking out the original Florida video. Link is in the description. I mean, I had a great time when I was in Florida. Florida is one of my favorite places to visit when I go on vacation. Florida is a beautiful state and I've always had a lot of fun there and I look forward to going back in the future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave your feedback down below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.